Hi, dear students. So today our new theme is education in Great Britain and in the USA. So what can we say about education in Great Britain? Develop discussion based on the following topic, diversity and quality in Britain's higher education. What does it mean? Education consists of knowledge and skills obtained through study. It is the most important, necessary, and useful thing in our life. Knowledge is power. A good education provides a good job in the future. Education is something that affects all the people at various points of their lives. It is also one of the major areas of government expenditure. Education is an investment for the country's future wealth and well-being. Develop discussion based on the following topic, diversity and quality in Britain's higher education. And what does it mean? Education consists of knowledge and skills obtained through study. It is the most important necessary and useful thing in our life. A good education provides a good job in the future. Education is something that affects all the people at various points of their lives. It is also one of the major areas of government expenditure. Education is an investment for the country's future wealth and well-being. The basic features of the British educational system are the first, full-time education is compulsory. It means five to 16 years. Second, the academic year begins at the end of summer. The third, compulsory education is free of charge. Private education is free paying. There are three recognized stages the first stage is primary education. It is 5 till 11 years. The second stage is secondary education. That is 12 till 16 and 12 till 18. The third, it is further education at university or college. So here we can see uh, the photo of education of United Kingdom. So, and higher education in England has several branches. Colleges of education prepare students to be teachers. Polytechnics usually prepare students for some kind of career and universities. Higher education is selective. It depends on how well a student does in GCA, that is, the General Certificate of Education, taken at about 18. So, as we know, there are two historical universities in the United Kingdom. They are Oxford and Cambridge are the oldest universities in England. The University of Oxford is a collection of colleges. Some of these colleges were founded hundreds of years ago. The university is an administrative center which arranges lectures for all the students of the colleges, holds examinations and gives degrees. The tutorial system is one of the ways in which Oxford and Cambridge differ from all other English universities. Every student has a tutor who plans his work and acts as a parent to the student away from home. And this is, you can see here, the University of Oxford. This is Cambridge University. The British system of education is rather complicated and many stage. The first stage is nursery education, which is often seen as the Cinderella of the system because there is a very little state provision. Parents have to pay. The second stage is primary education, which 
embraces pupils from 5 till 11 years old. And the third stage, this is secondary education, is divided into junior high school, that is 12 to 16, and uh, the forms are 7 to 11. Zero level exams and senior high school, that is uh, 17 to 18 years old, and 12 13 forms A level exams. In the fourth stage, from junior high school students may go to colleges of further education and the sixth form. The sixth form refers to those peoples who are studying beyond the age of 16. From senior high school students may go to universities and high education colleges and get bachelor's degrees or to polytechnics and get bachelor's degree three or four years and master's degree plus one year or we can say to universities and get bachelor's degree three or four years master's degrees plus one year or doctor or philosophy plus three years this stage is linked with higher education, which is provided at universities, polytechnics, and other educational institutions of higher and further education. There are public schools where the emphasis is on character building and the development of team spirit. The public school system involves boarding schools. Their aim is to prepare young men to take up positions in the higher ranks of the army, business, the legal profession, the civil service and politics. In Britain today, about 8% of children are educated outside the state system. The best known boarding schools are Eton, Harrow and Rugby. According to statistics, 90% of graduates of public schools enter Oxford or Cambridge. There are 20 level schools, 11 for girls, 7 for boys, 2 for boys and girls. When the pupils from boarding schools finish their education, they form the ruling elite closed group separate from the rest of the society. Entry into this group is difficult for anybody who has a different education. Education, and, uh, education in the United States of America is compulsory for children from the age of 6 till 16 or maybe 18. It involves 12 years of schooling, a school year starts at the end of August or at the beginning of September and ends in late June or in July. The whole school year is divided into three terms, three masters of four courts. American students have winter, spring and summer holidays which last two or three weeks and six or eight weeks respectively. The length of the school year varies among the states as well as the day length. Students go to school five days a week. The American education system consists of three basic components, elementary, secondary, and higher education. There is also such a notion as preschool education. At the age of four or five, children just get acquainted with the formal education in a nursery school. The preschool education program aims to prepare children for elementary school through playing and help them to acquire the experience of association. It lasts for one year. 
Then they go to the first grade. Elementary education starts when pupils are six years old. The program of studies in the elementary school includes the following subjects, English, arithmetic, geography, history of the USA, natural sciences, physical training, singing, drawing, wood or metal work. The education is mostly concentrated on the basic skills, speaking, reading, writing, or arithmetic. Sometimes children also learn some foreign languages. General history and such new subjects as drug and education. The main goal of elementary education is the general intellectual, social, and physical development of a pupil from 5 to uh, 12 or 15 years old. Secondary education's education begins when children move on to high or secondary school in the ninth grade, where they continue their studies until the 12th grade. The secondary school curriculum is built around specific subjects rather than general skills. Although there is always a number of basic subjects in the curriculum, English, mathematics, science, social studies, and physical education, the students have an opp opportunity to learn some uh, elective subjects which are not necessary for everybody. After the first two years of education, they can select subjects according to their professional interests. The electives are to be connected with the students for uh, future work uh, or further education at university or college. Every high school has a special teacher, a guidance counselor who helps the students to choose these elective subjects. Moreover, he helps them with some social problems too. The elective courses are different in various schools. Members of each grade in high school have special names. Students in the ninth grade are called freshmen. Tenth graders are called sophomores. Eleventh graders are juniors. And as for twelfth grades, they are seniors. After graduating from high schools, the majority of the Americans go on studying at higher education establishments. In universities, they have to study for four years to get a bachelor's degree. In order to get a master's degree, they must study two years more and besides be engaged in a research work. And now, comrades, uh, this is all about uh, information, uh, education of uh, United Kingdom and USA. Uh, I have some questions for you. You should answer the questions at home. The first question is, how is the education system in USA? The second, is education free in Great Britain? The third, are there free universities in USA? The fourth, what are the school years in the United Kingdom? The fifth, what are the benefits of studying in the United Kingdom? And the sixth, is international, is international school a private school? Just uh, for conclusion, I can say that uh, the members of each grade in high school have special names. Students in the ninth grade are called freshmen. Tenth grades are called sophomores. Eleventh grades are juniors. And as for twelfth grades, they are seniors. 
after graduating from high schools in the majority of the Americans go on studying at higher education establishments. So, if you have any questions, our lesson is over. Goodbye. Thank you for your attention.